So we're on to day two of our float with Kelly Latch of the St. Mary Angler on the Elk River in beautiful Fernie, British Columbia. Today, we're being guided by John Kendall, a good friend of ours, so we decided to change guys today and do a little different stretch of water. We're actually fishing a lower part on the Elk River. You're gonna look for some great action on cutthroats today as we take you sport fishing on the fly. Sport Fishing on the Fly is brought to you in part by Islander Reels, Precision Reels, The Frog Boat, inspired by nature, ingenious by design, and Reel Products, specialists in fly lines, leaders, and tippet materials. Nice, typical, Ooh. heavy Elk River petrol. Oh, he's fighting pretty good. Big yellow sides. Really little, nice guy. Got a little bit of current. He knows how to put his body sideways in that current. You know, the beauty is I've got that eagle, eagle reel on there, I call it. <laughs> it makes a lot of noise. Oh, we love that stuff. <laughs> oh, that's a great yeah. sound. Uh, I'll tell you, it seems to be a lot smoother on the up than the in one. So here's the way we're working it, and this is the funny part. You know, I get to fish off the front, which is nice. Yeah. I hand the road to Johnny, then I can do a little filming and stuff. Kelly's up fishing, doing whatever. We're all taking turns. It's excellent. Here he comes. Yeah, Kelly with the I'm net. Boy. Here <laughs> he net comes. Boy. He's tired. He does no go, but he's catting. Oh, that's a nice fish. And you know, that was such a cool take because he came up so slow and just sucked it down. It was awesome. And he is tuckered out. Come on, baby. Come to Kelly. Show him your stuff. Man, that's a nice fish. Just in the side of the mouth, they're rolling on the tape. Yeah, gorgeous. Oh, come on. Oh, you big, pretty boy. Come on. Come on up. Come on. Isn't that a beauty? Oh, that's a beauty. <laughs> hey, Johnny, thanks a lot for oh, hey, that guy. Thanks for handing me the rod and reel. <laughs> That's the time awesome. was good was been had by all. No, John. whatever. Yeah, I got to show that guy, Kelly. That's a dandy. Yeah. Look at him. Big male? Oh, he's big male. Very big nice male. Nice big male. Turn to the other yeah, side. Yeah, 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 let's have a look at that guy. If you can hold, him. hold on a sec here. I'll yeah, take your net. I'll take your net. I just want to show him. He's so beautiful. That's where you're going to get hold him. Just hold that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Uh, probably three pounds plus. Okay, nice happy. All right, let's set him in and yeah. give him a nice drink. There he goes. Classic Elk River cutthroat. But right on the bank. If that wasn't a foot off the bank, he didn't eat it. <laughs> oh, I love it. Uh, we're being, being treated to some of the elk's finest. Oh, definitely. Oh, that's a nice fish. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, they are. Look at that color. Gorgeous fish. Drop that anchor again. Get the net ready here. I'm going to bring it over on, the, on this side. This side, sure. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. <laughs> there we go. Oh, look at that. Oh, Absolutely that's huge. That's a nice fish. Oh my goodness. Why? Just under the yak. Now this one's been caught a time or two, but look at the size. Oh, look at how gorgeous. Oh man. Beautiful. Come on, baby. Let's pop that out of your mouth. Then we'll give you a little rest.
Beauty of forceps. Love it. Marvelous hook. There we go. Take him a drink and off we go. Rest him in the water a little bit. Yeah. Let him get his breath back. Going down the bottom. Going, Going down the south. Yeah, another good teamwork. Another, yeah, big another nice fish. Well done. <laughs> Stopping one of Kelly's favorite little runs here. In about 10 inches of water. Picked up a lovely cut. Well, on the big key, I think, too, you've been saying all day is you got to be shallow. These yep, fish are sitting really shallow. Yep, they're coming in the shallows. The shallows are warming up. Insects are getting active. And they're feeding on the insects where they're at. That reel sounds pretty good too. Oh yeah. <laughs> this this guy's not too happy about this situation. No, he's not. Yeah, and I thought I thought maybe he'd just come right to my hand, and let me release him, but uh, all of a sudden he's decided that uh, he's in some kind of trouble. Wow. Well, there you go. There you go. Let me get you upside down. You will like this. I'll take that little hook out of your mouth. It's about two and a half inches thick. There you go. And once you get him upside down. Flaps that dorsal, and just go calm. Oh, that's a pretty fish. Oh, nice. Very nice, Johnny. There we go. Very nice. Your uh, Elk River cutthroat. There, look, now watch her. She'll sit there and breathe as calm as can be. Look at that. This is unbelievable. This fish was laying a foot of two feet off of that rock right there. So right here, I'm just right in there, right and that just tight. over, and it was yeah. barely moving. The water's barely moving, soft bubbles, and I put a straight line cast up to her just slightly off to one side. So the fly drifts this way, the line was laying off over here, and it drifted right into her, and I watched her head just come up. She broke the surface, come yeah. down, and that's the giveaway, right? When you yeah. see that, that mouth come up and break surface, that's all you need to know that the fish has got your fly. And then all I did is made a soft lift on her, and just like and this, yeah. and got her. And there's the depth. I mean, and this you is look the at this. Depth there's the depth of water we're fishing. Right, now. And so, like right there. Like the, that depth. Just enough to cover her back. Yeah. Gee, it just like teaches that. you just how shallow these fish will live in. Yeah, like we haven't, even, year, we haven't right? even waited even close to going in yet. No. Come on, little girl. Come here, girl. And she's a, this is a, this is a beautiful cutthroat. Is it ever? She's a dandy fish. But you can see how these fish can sit in so close to the shore because they're so well camouflaged. Oh, yeah. Like John said earlier. Yeah. They're just, you can't see them. Their backs, if you let, it, what's interesting, if you show with the camera here, I'll let her swim a little bit and look at how her I back. Know. I can't see her. I lose her. Blends with that, blends with it. But as soon as she turns sideways, yeah. her belly's orange and a little bit of white. Yeah, amazing. Yeah, I can. When her back Absolutely goes, I amazing. can't see her. Amazing. Gorgeous fish. There she is. There she is. Oh, beautiful fish. Pop the fly out. Here she is right here. Yeah. It's a he. Sorry oh, for... He is just beautiful here. Come on. Oh. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. You ready? There you go. All the way through October, the elk fishes and all the rivers of the East Kootenays fish exceptionally well. But you have to understand, you have to start thinking in different terms of the flies you're going to use, which usually means you're going to go small. You have to go quite small. In fact, the predominant fly that's going to be coming off most of the time will be, every day there will be good hatches of blue wing olives, which are part of the betas family. They're, they're very tiny. They're actually pretty easy to see, quite frankly, and most of the time, if you notice the fish we've been catching later this afternoon have all been in really, really close water right here. Yeah, right in They're the They're all right in front of us. Yeah. In fact, uh, Big John yeah. is up there, and you can see he's only putting in about a 20-foot cast oh, yeah, real short. into really shallow water. And there's a reason. These fish are all stacked up in here feeding on a lot of these. And I'll show you a couple oh, different right. versions. Oh, yeah. The first one here is, this is a blue-wing olive. Let me get it out. Just a wee tiny little fella. Tiny little guys. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Very nice That's little cool. pattern. Got an emergent tail. And then there's uh, what we call a, these are more of the same pattern, only slightly larger. There's three of them together. Yeah. You know, what size are those? Like 18? Those 20, are 16. 16. These okay. are 16. That's pretty much all you'd be allowed to get away with. You could, you could comfortably probably fish this and get away with that. 
that one. But I'll show you what we're, when the fish get really picky. Well, can you put it, what you put a 20 on line right now? Right, I, I'm, I'm fishing that little green blue wing aller. And then I said to you, well, they're getting a little picky. So when they get really picky, then we start going to winged emergers. Which I've got on. Which you have on right oh, now. Oh, look at that, yeah. Yeah, it's that's just tiny, a... Tiny, tiny, You tiny. notice the downed wing gives it a very, very emerger look in yeah. water, and it's an extremely hard pattern for them to refuse. <laughs> so in other words, if you want to expect to see your fly on some of these, it's not going to have a look at that. And there he is. Oh! oh. <laughs> and he just unbuttoned. Hello everybody, those are, those are little blue wing olives and that's what the fish are feeding on. They love this kind of overcast weather. When the rain comes in, the betas come in. And there's John, just picked up another one. Father, all over here. must be 15, 16 good fish. Oh, at and least. Nosing up, rolling over. At least, and look, I mean, I got a shot of the betas on the water. It's, it's littered, there, there are hundreds of thousands of blue wing olives. And you just need to get to the fly where, where fish is. Exactly. Look at this that. This is a beautiful fish. Show off some of your orange belly here. Okay. Upside down. Pull it over. Okay. There we go. Look at the orange. Big, yeah. mature fish. Look at the slits. Look at the yeah. cuts. Wow. Beautiful. It just stays. Okay. There it is. Yep. Gotcha. A perfect eat. Right in the roof of the moon. Yep. Tiny little betas. See there we in go. There. Yeah. Wow, that gorgeous fish. New materials in the fly tying world are really allowing us to tie some really novel and unique patterns. And this is one of them. This is emerging caddis, and we call it the pupa. Make sure you have these materials ready before you tie the fly. We'll use a size 12 curved caddis as the hook, some 8 aught olive done thread to tie with, a 7 64th inch gold bead as the bead, some green holographic tinsel for the body, some orange micro chenille as the overbody, some 6 pound fluorocarbon for the rib, some hare's ear dubbing for the thorax, and some mallard strands for the wing. So I started the fly off by putting my bead on and moving it up towards the eyelet and I've also tied on my thread. Now I'm going to take some of my six pound test fluorocarbon and wrap it in and we'll use this to rib the body a little bit later. Now that the ribbing's tied in we'll take some of our green holographic tinsel and we're going to tie it in and once we get it tied into the rear of the hook we're going to wrap it forward all the way up to the bead to form the body. The body's now tied in. I'm going to take some orange micro chenille and tie it in over the back of the body. And what I want to do is just tie in just a little bit at the head end, just secure it down, and just enough to bring the, the orange micro chenille back over the body. And then how we're going to tie it in is we're going to slowly bring our six pound test fluoro up over this and the body to form a ribbing. And this will actually help tie in the back also. Once you have the orange chenille back tied in, you want to leave a small tag when you trim it off. So what we'll do is take our scissors and just leave about an eighth of an inch tag off the back of the hook where that orange chenille can actually dangle a little bit. Another way to do it is actually after you've cut that orange chenille is you can take a lighter and just melt the tip so it comes into a nice little fine nub. But I find it's just as effective after cutting it off. Now we want a couple little wings off the fly. And what I mean by wings is they're almost imitating legs, but they're on the top of the fly. And we'll take some mallard. Now I'm only taking two strands of mallard. And I'm just going to tie them in the length of the hook, just off the side of the bead. Just almost on the top side of the hook, on one side. And then I'll go to the other side and do the same thing. Tie in another two mallard barbs about the length of the hook. Have them sitting up off the hook and tie them in. Now that our little wing tips are tied in, I'm going to take some hair's ear dubbing and we're going to form a thorax by dubbing on a little bit onto our thread and then wrapping it up. And again, 
your thorax can be can be nice and bushy. So make sure you have enough dubbing on to make a nice bushy thorax. The last stage of the fly is take your whip finisher and always whip finish off the fly behind the bead. And you only need about four or five turns on that. And there it is, the finished pupa. This is one of many original patterns you can tie with all the new materials available today. Another one right off the bat, holy cow. And they're all up here, right up ahead. Kelly said move up to the top end. We did, and we're just picking them. I don't think it matters in the whole hole, eh Kelly, where you're at? Nope. They're just everywhere. So this other one, just another dandy. And you gotta be really careful with these fish. This is a big fish on 6X tippet and a very small fly. So I'll see if I can delicately bring them in here. We just got the fly right in the, right in the top of his mouth. Oh, very nice. Get this guy in. He wants to go between my legs and get comfy. Best way, again, let's try to get him upside down if you can. He wants to go in between my legs. Come on, man. There he is. There's the fly. Little tiny fly stuck in his mouth. And look at that. Is that a beautiful cut or what? Look at how nice that is. Great slits. Oh. Give him a little drink. And there he's happy. He's going to be ready to go. And there he goes. Back for another day. Well, you know what? There's about another hundred. I'm going to give the rod back to Kelly and let him go and get a whole bunch now. It's ridiculous. It's absolutely phenomenal fishing. This is just classic stocking. <laughs> classic. If you're a dry fly fisherman and this doesn't work for you, oh my God. This oh, it is, has to work oh, for there you. There we go, look at this, about. look at this, look at this. One, oh my God, <laughs> he's so close. Oh, right there, Kelly, took it. Oh, that was too cool. Oh, that was awesome. <laughs> Isn't that <laughs> unbelievable? I just watched it and it just saw him come up and suck it down. <laughs> In like a foot of water. <laughs> well, oh, that doesn't it's, get... it's less than a foot. It's just over the top yeah, of the boots. It's right there. Yeah, it's, it's nothing. You see the depth we're in. Like the fish are right here. Unbelievable. Yeah, you're right. As you were saying, if people don't come here and enjoy this for dry fly, oh. uh, it's, it's the world's best. That's all I can say. For cutthroat fishing, yeah, it's I'm, the world's best. It, I, it's just absolutely amazing. It really is right now, especially when they're feeding you. You're seeing so many of them, you know. We guide over these fish all summer long, but you really don't get to see how many there really are in this river until, until, you, get you, until you get a hatch like this, yeah. and you start to realize they're all feeding on it. Yeah. Oop, hold on, hold on. I don't want you to break it off. Come on, little fella. That's the other thing. You gotta be delicate. I broke a couple off that way yesterday. Yeah. Get on this there. Just got it right in the corner of the mouth. Right there, little fly. Pops out real easy. Just like that, yeah. barbless. Just an average. Average guy? 15 and a half. Years. Yeah, but I saw your line go flying out there. Set of shoulders on them. I swear these trout go and work out. Big, big shoulders. And again, fine tippets. <laughs> Yeah, he's a nice size. Oh, yeah. well, it's all about the weather too, isn't it, John? You know, you get that nice, that cool air comes in with the uh, with the rain. And after that, those mayflies just start popping. Oh, the mayflies love it. There's yeah. no doubt about it. Especially the blue wing olives. I mean, they're, they are, you can go to the bank on them. Yeah. And yeah, you know they're going to start popping, right? Exactly and, right. And yeah. something for people to realize, too, is to fish every stage. So start off, fish the emerger. Oh, nice fish, Johnny. Beautiful. Just Let's fish that emerger stage, and then once the dries start popping off, there we go. get the dries. Oh, 
Look at the size of that. Yeah. There, there he is. is. Oh, yeah. Oh, jeez. <laughs> is that amazing? That's crazy. Oh, I know. Crazy. I'm loving it. And you know, you can watch him take it. Oh, like, you I know. see it. It's just so remarkable. I mean, it's tough on camera, but you can see where, and you just see the whole yeah. head come up. Like, it's just great. Yeah. I don't know how many we've hooked here. It's just. Oh. Yeah, we could actually hook, you could probably hook 50 to 60 yeah, fish. Yeah, 50 to Oh, easy. There's 100 to 150 fish feeding yeah. in here, at least, maybe more. Yeah. I mean, if we actually counted, it would be, it's staggering. Another nice one. Unreal, and Johnny's got another one up there too. Oh, that's a gorgeous shot. This thing's just glowing. Oh, yeah. So Isn't that nice. unbelievable? Oh, it's beautiful. Big shake of the hand yeah, for, for bringing me over again. Yeah. Like I said uh, on, the, on the first show, I really missed coming over for cuts, and it was. It was nice to be back. It was really glad to have you back. I'm glad you gave the phone call and said you were interested in maybe coming back and doing a reshoot on yeah. the elk and the St. Mary. And Mary wasn't fishing quite as well as we would have liked it to. Skinny but water. Little skinny water, skinny water got real thin on us. But the elk has just been fantastic and we've had two wonderful days now, of fishing. Now the nice thing I noticed when I came over is Kelly, you got a fantastic fly shop. Obviously nothing to do with Kelly. Yeah. Everything to do with his wife, Karen. Yeah, of Karen course. Does a, does of a bang course. up job. But the fly shop look great. You also yeah. have a B&B &B or not we even do. bed and breakfast. It's a... We have a guest house that yeah. our clients can stay at. Which and I stay it's, at. Which you stay at, of course, which is absolutely wonderful. And that's yeah. been a real boon to our business. But it's more about the rivers themselves and how good they've started to fish since the class water yeah. has taken place. And uh, particularly the elk and all of its little tributaries. It's just been fantastic. And as yeah. you've seen in two days of unbelievable wow. fishing. It's unbelievable. I mean, yeah. you see fish everywhere. Whereas before, you know, we came to the elk again six years ago and it was okay, it was good. You know, you catch some nice fish, but you had to work it. And now the nice thing I, I like with you is you get to fish the little hatches. Yeah. You're, you're actually fishing for the fish and fishing the hatch rather than checking out the big hardware, the big artillery we used to throw out here. And trying to catch them that way. We're seeing more feeding fish up in classic Leia lies, whereas when we had uh, more traffic on them, it was a little tougher. Eh? Yeah, right on. Well, thanks again. You bet. And when you're out here, when you come to the elk, give give Kelly a call. Conservo Waters, again, they've done a great here job on the elk. And we'll see you next time when you take a sport fishing on the fly. To watch all our latest sport fishing on the fly episodes and to order sport fishing on the fly merchandise, head to www.sfotf.ca and if you would like to book an adventure like this one shown, head to onthefflyadventures.ca and book yourself the trip of a lifetime.